All right, guys, it's time to start learning about services in Angular. Now, before we understand what exactly is a service, I want to help you understand why something like a service would be required in the first place. And to explain that, I have set up a very simple application. All it does is display a list of employees. Let's take a look at the code. So we begin with the app module. The app module bootstraps the app component. In the app component, we have a template URL that points to app component HTML. In the app component HTML, we have welcome to code evolution. And under the title, we have an employee list component. So the selector for employee list. In the employee list component, we have a hard coded array of employees. Each employee has an ID, a name, and age. In the template, we have an h2 tag that says employee list, and we use the ng4 directive to iterate over each employee in the array and display just the name of the employee. So if we run this application, you must see the title code evolution from the app component, welcome to code evolution and then the list of employee names from the employee list component. So everything is working perfectly fine. But then we get a new requirement. And the new requirement is that in a separate view, we need to display all the employee information, the ID, name, age, all of them. So we figured that's not a problem and create a new component to display the employee details. This will be the employee detail component. So again, in the template, we make use of the ng4 directive, iterate over each employee, but this time we bind all the details and not just the name. So ID, name, and age, all are displayed. But here's the problem. If you take a look at the class, we don't have the employee array. We have it in our employee list component but it is localized only to this specific component. The employee detail component has no employee data to bind to the view. Now what would be a solution here? I can simply copy paste the employee array in the employee detail component and our application will work as expected. So if I copy this and paste it in the employee detail component class, Go to add component HTML and add the employee detail component. Save this and take a look at the browser. We can see the list of employees followed by the details of all the employees. So does the solution work? Yes, it does. Is it the right solution? It definitely is not. We are violating a few good programming principles. The first one is the dry principle which states do not repeat yourself. And this is the case with the employee array. We are making copies of the same data. The second principle we are violating is the single responsibility principle. Our component class should have only one responsibility and that is to control the view's logic. But in our case, it is also responsible for creating the data which is the employee array. So we need a better solution. And that solution is a service. But what exactly is a service? A service is nothing but a class with a specific purpose. And why do we need services? The first reason is something we learned from the example. We need to share data across multiple components. So in such a scenario, a service will be responsible for providing the data to the components that ask for it. The second reason is to implement application logic. Let's say an employee enters their date of birth, but we need to calculate their age. Now we can write the logic to do that. This doesn't need a view and the logic is reusable code which should be independent of any individual component. So again, in this scenario, we create a service. And finally, we can also use services for external interactions, such as connecting to a database. 
In Angular, the naming convention is to end the file name with service.ts. For example, employee service would be employee.service.ts and the class name is employee service. So now that we know what a service is and why we would want to use a service, the next question is how do we go about using a service in Angular? And the answer is dependency injection. What is dependency injection? Let's understand that in the next video.